What's up, YouTube? Got a new holster I want to show you guys. Going to be trying this out some. Walk around the house with it in the evenings. This is the drop leg holster from Alien Gear. And uh, I'm going to take this thing apart here on camera, see if I can get this out. So the shell is here. It's their hybrid style holster. It's soft on the inside with a hard shell on the outside. And it's got this triangle in the back. And that triangle clips in to this rig here. This is what straps around your leg. It's got these two little cam locks, and if you look in here real close, you'll see there's a tooth. And those two teeth grip these two notches on this thing here. It's pretty secure, I think, but that snaps in, and that allows you to take your gun off without taking your rig off, okay? Or you can unstrap your leg strap, and you've got the same setup at the top, and I'm going to come out here and show you. So I've already got this threaded through my belt. It's the same setup. And you just, once you put that on your belt, you snap this in, and then you come around and you snap the leg straps, okay? So that's how you put it on. This is how it fits. Um, so far, playing with it, uh, the cant, it feels like it cants slightly back to me. Um, I wish it would cant slightly forward. I'm not exceptionally thrilled with the cant. The other thing is for me, I'm not a competition shooter. I don't wear a rig like this. The standoff for this. I'm used to concealed carry, so my holsters hold really tight to my body. The standoff on this is, is I mean, it's just sticking way out. And of course, I'm not used to having a gun on my thigh either. And so um, the issue I've run into so far with this is uh, hitting it against things. But anyway, let me grab a gun. I've got a couple of guns here in the background. Um, the intention of this holster is to carry this gun. This is the Ruger American in 45 ACP and it holsters pretty well but what I notice when I push it all the way down there's a tiny little it comes out of battery slightly so um, what's happening here is the fit of the holster for the trigger guard to get all the way into here and settled the slide is catching here at the bottom of the holster and they do roll their holsters over at the bottom to protect your muzzle um, and that's an issue for me because I also want to be able to carry this, which is a Ruger American competition. Now this has a longer barrel. The standard Ruger American is, I believe, 4.3. This is five inches. So this is a five inch nine millimeter, has fiber optic sights. Uh, it is uh, tapped for an optic and all that. And it, unfortunately, because it is longer, goes to there. That's as far as it'll go. And of course, if I keep pushing, the frame will go all the way to the trigger, but the slide, of course, I'll eject around if it was loaded. This one is unloaded, um, but, you know, cause if, I, if I tried to holster that all the way, it might eject around if I was trying to carry. So, obviously, not seated all the way in the holster, not okay. So, what I'm going to do there is I am actually going to Dremel the bottom of this holster so that that gun will fit on through, and I think that will solve my fitment issues with the Ruger American 45 as well. I don't mind if the muzzle of my gun sticks through my holster. That doesn't bother me at all. As long as the rail and the front sight don't catch on the draw stroke. And the way this holster is made, that will not be an issue. So, um, there we go. So, why did I buy this holster? Hang on and I'll show you. This is why I bought this holster. So, I went to a class, oh, I want to say eight, nine years ago. One of the instructor candidates, this was an instructor class, and uh, he wore his body armor. And I said, why are you wearing body armor? And he said, I always wear body armor to the range. Because I had an incident where a guy loaded a gun up and pointed at me while I was moving targets. And I said, you need to put your gun down. And he said, who's going to make me? And of course, you know, kind of a confrontation. And uh, he did carry a gun with him to the range and he pulled his gun. And it was a pretty tense thing. And he said after that, he realized, you know, there's a chance that he could have his back turned. He could be moving targets. And somebody could accidentally or purposefully discharge a firearm. So, it's like, you know, not a bad idea. So, I went out and bought these. These are steel plates. These are not soft armor. This is steel plates. It'll stop a 308 at uh, point blank range. And so um, it's kind of heavy. The, the whole rig weighs about 37 pounds, but it gives me a good exercise when I'm out on the range. Uh, but my problem is that wearing a holster where I normally wear it, the grip of the gun gets tangled up in the side straps. And drawing, I have to kind of intentionally pull this way to avoid these straps and these flaps and so I didn't like that so I got this so that when I'm wearing my body armor there's zero interference that was the purpose of this purchase 
is just when I'm at the range and I'm wearing my armor, my gun can be here and it's in a place where, and I considered like Molly where I could put it on my vest. Um, my problem with that is most of those are angled and so then your muzzle is pointing to your left and, and down and, and I really don't like muzzling people. Um, I, I just feel like that's a really bad habit and I know some folks say, well, it's in the holster and it can't go off, but for me, I want my guns pointed down. When they're on my body, I want them pointed down. Um, I don't want to even unintentionally muzzle someone even with a holstered gun. So, this was my option. This was my solution. So, here we are. Uh, and then that way, I've got free range of motion on the range. Any way I turn, my gun's pointed down. I'm not muzzling anybody. Uh, it's totally free of my body armor. Uh, I'm going to modify this with a Dremel and see how it does. Let me show you a couple other things. So here's the whole assembled setup as it would go on your body. It does come with three of these to adjust the length. This is the medium. It's what it came with. I actually rather like that length. At my height, I'm 5 foot 10. Um, fairly long arms for my height, and that's a good height. You can move this up. It does have adjustment for your belt. It is set to a one and a half inch belt by default from the factory. Um, most of my belts are one point, uh, excuse me, I think it's 1.75. But anyway, it's set as short as it'll go. It works perfectly with this belt that I'm wearing. This is the uh, VICI uh, Vici Tactical belt. And um, it uh, it's perfect for that. So, But if you wear a thicker belt, you can take these screws out and move this down. So that is adjustable. Again, it does come apart. You just squeeze these two. If I can do this, it takes three hands. But squeeze these two. And then pop it up. Let me get my hand right here. So squeeze those two. Come on. And it doesn't like to come out, which I guess is a good thing because it means it's not going to come apart on your draw stroke. And I have drawn from this about a hundred times. Um, it's very, very, very good. Um, no movement whatsoever from any of this. So then uh, the other thing I wanted to show you guys is the back of the leg strap has this rubber coating on it. It helps it kind of stick to your leg so it doesn't move around a lot. Um, how well that works, I don't know. I haven't done a ton of physical activity in this. It is adjustable. You see it's got a little, a little strap here for your extra tail. It is adjustable. Um, it actually has a ton of adjustment. I do not have skinny thighs, and I have a lot of extra strap left. So um, you could be a real big guy and, and have plenty of adjustment. Um, I think of... Some of the folks I train with, they would actually probably have to cut some excess strap off. Um, so anyway, but there we are. It is rubber coated. Um, the full length of it all the way to the end of the tail is rubber coated. It's got these two strips of rubber coating on it. Uh, helps it stick to your leg. Again, there's no cant adjustment, at least that I can find. Um, when you pull the holster off this base, everything just has one hole. I am going to go in see how the muzzle end is closed. That closed muzzle end is slightly disrupting my 45, and of course it's causing me not to be able to uh, to seat my 9 at all. And you see the shell doesn't extend, so the, the back piece, the rubber part of this hybrid holster stops here, and then it's just shell. So I could take, you know, this much off uh, and get rid of all of that curvature here at the end, and the gun would holster better. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to take... Um, a Dremel or a little cutting tool or something and I'm just going to cut kind of along here and cut off this piece of the holster so that both of my Ruger Americans will holster well um, and that's you know that's me I don't mind modifying my holsters um, but just beware if you carry a Ruger American and you order this and I'm going to bet the nine fits perfectly I'm going to bet this was molded off the Ruger American nine millimeter um, and it does say on their site Ruger American. doesn't say 9 or 45. It says Ruger American, full size. And so it should accommodate both. But typically things are made for the 9. Uh, and us 45 folks have to adjust. No problem. That's why I own a Dremel. So anyway, going to adjust that. But wanted to give you guys a look at it, see how it fit. And uh, if you have any questions about it, please leave them in the comments. I'll be glad to answer them. And... Uh, Hopefully, we've got a class coming up soon. We'll see how this works. I think it will work very well. It'll stay out of the way of my body armor, and it will give me a chance to have my gun in a place where I can access it easily without worrying about changing my draw stroke because it interferes with the straps that I'm not used to wearing. So anyway, hope it helps, guys. Appreciate your support.